So I'm working on some ways when you're putting it underneath, especially for MMA, uh, but also for submission grappling. If you're starting to get the knee shield in front to work the way back up to the feet. Now, the things I can do to stop this first, all right? I'm trying to square the hips, I'm trying to control the hips. But once this has happened, I need to address it. I don't do anything to address this. I'm pushing up, get the leg out, and he's going to get all the way back up to his feet. The main I'm giving the space gets the knee across. Okay, I'm going to weave the hand underneath. I'm going to block on the bottom leg. Okay, this is the leg that he needs to get back to start building his base back up again. So he tries to build this back. My hand underneath it. All right, can't get there. The other option is once I start to drive down. Okay, that leg can come backwards and he can start to get up to a tail. So I need to make sure that this weave. To make sure that this weave is going to block one side and my elbow is going to block the other. So as I drop my weight, okay, both sides are blocked. You try to bring the, the leg back, you can't bring the leg back. You try to bring the leg forward, okay, you can't bring the leg forward. So my weight is keeping his uh, knees together, which is really limiting his ability to use these. Yeah? I'm going to control his wrist, he's still going to be trying to post up. Okay? I'm going to try and control his wrist, head into his chest, and I'm going to drive him. Down, finish, and control. So we're here again. We're walking him down. I'm controlling this way. As I start to go around this way, if he starts stuck in my head, okay, there's no point me coming around this way anymore. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse, I'm gonna shrug it off, and that can come out to his back, or I can come and start to go with the inside wrist, and control him from there, start turning. So we're in, I've got my weave. Weight pressuring down. Knees pinned to the mat. I'm gonna come around this time. Okay, stuffing my head again. My other option before I start to get up is to get over the top and I'm gonna to start to cradle. So I cradle, elbow deep as I can around his neck. As I drive him, this elbow's gonna get as deep as I can as well. So elbow around his neck, I drive him, and I'm pinching my elbows together. So this one's deep, as deep as I can get it with that elbow. My elbows are pinching in towards him, okay? And now, Sam tries to escape from there. Okay, I'm riding him with all this weight, taking very little effort for me to hold him. So my elbows are deep, I've got my grip, all my grip, okay, and it's sliding in. He comes across, look, I'm driving, push the head, and try to go, cradle Drive him, nice deep cradle. I'm going to wait for his pushback as he tries to break the cradle. As he tries to break it, I let him kick the leg out. I'm going to step straight over to Mal. And around here, I'm already fishing for this guillotine. So I can go single arm guillotine by going flat. I've got a posting arm, elbow pinches back, and I arch back into it. Or head plant, hip come up, and I go high elbow. Two guillotine finishes. We'll give you one more finish from there. I'm driving through, weight coming down, it blocks the head, get my career up, I'm driving it down. Okay, again he wants to try and free this leg to straighten himself out. All I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it, my top leg, over the top. Now I've got it, I can't straighten the leg, so I can let go of this one. Okay, from behind the arm, I'm going to set my grip up underneath his chin. So this is the money shot for Sam. As I'm in this position, okay, pulling up like an upright row, and I slide my chest to the back of his head. This leg is going to curl him towards me. Okay, I can triangle it if I want, or I can just keep it in. I'm going to upright row with this grip as I drive my hips in. Finish my necktie. Depending on his angle, all right, I might get him with a neck crank from there, or if it's under his chin, it might be more choky. <laughs> all those options are good.